Hey, 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 people, hey, Aranators, welcome back to my channel where we react to music but always do it honestly. And today we're checking out I Am Fine by BTS. And as far as I know, it's like a reworked version of Save Me, right? It's Save Me with a twist, with a different message, where it's like a complimentary. Uh, part the complementary version to say there's save me right and then there's I'm fine and together they create one whole thing so very very excited to check it out but before we jump in don't forget to check me out on Instagram and if you want to see my exclusive videos exclusive reactions BTS run episodes BTS Bon Voyage and twice content as well that's all on my patreon the link is down in the description as well so go go follow me there as well Oh, it sounds very similar, very similar. Or not. So wait, the beginning was very, very similar. I heard the same type of sound effects in the background. I'm not sure what to call them, but uh, if, you know, if I wasn't really paying attention, if I just overheard the song, I would definitely say it was Save Me and not I'm Fine. Actually, right now I went back and re-listened to this very beginning and it, it sounded like it went, it sounded, it, it was Save Me pretty much up until one point and then it played backwards. It went backwards and, uh, uh, and then V came in with a completely different sounding part. <laughs> I really, really like the production of the song. Again, I love the background music, those uh, floaty sound effects in the background. They sound awesome. They give every distinct feeling to the song. And I'm actually glad that it doesn't sound like Save Me, really, because I was not a big fan of that song. I'm sure there's a lot of people who love it, but I was not one of them. And uh, it gives me uh, similar type of vibes as Butterfly, but maybe a happier sounding Butterfly, something like that. Or, uh, let me think, maybe Euphoria? Something like that, something light and, and floaty and easy going. So yes, yeah, so far I like it. Let's keep going here. Okay, so RM right there, he sounded great as always, but it's definitely Jungkook, who caught my attention, uh, and even though we heard very little of this part, I I already know that I'm gonna like it when I hear uh, the whole thing, and I liked not only the melody, you know, usually I'm paying most of my attention to the melody, and then probably the sound of the voice, the sound quality, and I love that as well. It's uh, his signature vocal tone. It's pretty light but at the same time there's a little bit of edge to it you know uh, some some punch some energy so i liked it very much You know what guys, this pre-chorus is one of the best vocal lines, vocal melodies that I've heard from BTS ever. Uh, maybe maybe it's the fact that I'm listening to it for the first time and it's very fresh and very new to me. That's what, why I feel it, why, why I feel this way, but it's, it's really good. It's very good. I still don't really know why, but in some occasions I feel feel the music more than in the other ones and with this one I'm really I'm really feeling it you know it's somehow resonating with me so Jungkook and Jin they sounded great but whoever came up with this melody for for the part it, it was just brilliant
It actually developed very differently than I expected. I thought, um, it, you know, in, in this version, it sounded, I mean, in, in reality, uh, it sounded way faster. It felt like it was uh, speeding up. The song was speeding up. I thought there was going to be a little more uh, breaks in the music, something like that. Those breaks would create the rhythm and a different feeling, a, di a different type of flow to the song. But no, we got something different. But I liked it anyways. Uh, and actually, in this particular case, this change of pace worked out really nicely. Shine, shine, shine. Ah, so it keeps going like this. I thought it was gonna go back to the same feeling to the first, uh, to to this to the vibe of the first verse. You know, it felt a little slower, a little more chilled out. But it's it's running. You know, it's fast. It's a fast song. J Hope right there. He definitely had to keep up with the song, and it feels like this beat, this melody is the driving force here uh and it, it's like it, it's a train that's pushing all the air in front of it uh it's like to the sides or forward and the train in this case being the beat and the melody <laughs> Man. Shuga, he he needed his tongue technology for this part because this is what I'm talking about. The melody and the beat sets the rhythm and the pace of the song and uh, the guys have to keep up with it. It was really, really fast. I'm talking about his rapping now, but he still stayed precise, you know, very clear with his words. Everything was on point. His articulation was great. So yeah, definitely showing off his high skills and high level of uh, mastery. Oh, you know what? I know what the song reminds me of. Um, there's another one, another song called, uh, what is it? What's the name? Um, Come and Find Me. That's right. Come and Find Me. And it's by, I don't remember the name of the band. Come and Find Me. That's what it's called. Yeah, d definitely right now or after the video, uh, go on YouTube and um, search for the song Come and Find Me. It's the the beat and the melody in the chorus sounds very very similar and uh i'm a big fan of that song so no wonder that i'm gonna like this one as well Jin, there is a very interesting quality to his voice, even in this kind of fast-paced, uh, energetic song. He manages to put a little bit, or not a little bit, of emotions in his singing. I'm not sure if he does it intentionally or not. I'm pretty sure uh, it's intentional, but it sounds like he, when he's adducting his vocal cords, he builds up a little more air pressure beneath them than necessary, and then on certain uh, certain syllables, certain consonants, he lets the air out and it kind of, it creates this little burst, you know, a burst of air. Maybe on T, K, P, something like that. Yeah, P is a very uh, common trigger consonant for him. So yeah, that's what I think. Whoa, whoa, okay, the bridge. We we got this 
sequence of the singers from the vocal line Jungkook first then V then Jimin then Jin came in that was amazing again really really like the melodies on their vocals and I want to say that I liked this bridge part and the pre-chorus part a little more than the actual chorus because um, we could hear more uh, more vocals in them you know it was a little slower, a little more gentle. And if you've been watching me for long enough, you know that I'm a fan of those slower, more sensual type of songs. Uh, the same kind of feeling that I'm getting here from the pre-chorus and the bridge. Actually, you know what? I like this combination of different qualities that the song has because uh, you you get both things in one, pretty much, right? You can enjoy uh, a slower, more sensual parts with uh, then faster beat and more powerful chorus. Because, for example, Butterfly, one of my favorite songs, it's slow, but it's slow throughout the whole thing. Then mic drop, it's very energetic, but there's no breaks, there's no dips, there's no uh, places to relax or to enjoy um, pure vocals. But this one, it combines both of those things, and that's uh, that's why I think it's it's more unique in this way. And I'm also noticing that it's a very vocally oriented song. There's only been one rap line for each of the members of the of the rap line. But uh, I'm not saying this to say that you know I don't like the rappers of BTS. No, no, no. I just feel like with this song, this combination and this distribution works better or works the best. Yo, that ending though, guys, that was really nice. I loved how uh, the the levels of the music went down dramatically and at the very end it was a cappella, pretty much. A cappella done by V. Okay, okay, so now as I always do, I'm gonna go back and re-listen to the whole thing uh, while reading the lyrics so I understand the meaning of the song better but since I can't have the whole song in the video I'm only going to be showing you guys little bits of it uh -huh. Okay, so I can't say that I got the meaning of this one uh, but musically, you know, this this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite songs um, that make you feel happy. And of course, the more times I listen to it, the more I'm gonna like it. But uh, there is a very d distinct category of songs for me that the ones that just make you feel good, you know, uh, make you wanna do things. And this is definitely one of those songs and one of the best songs of that kind. And uh, I'm gonna have it on repeat. That's that's just for sure. That's 100%. But uh, now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I enjoyed the song. And if you actually did, then you know what to do now. You leave a like, you subscribe, and you click the bell. I will catch you all ever next in my next video don't forget to check out my second channel the link is down in the description and as always take care keep listening to great music and love